All right, today I'm with my friend Elijah and we are welling up the battery box um, for the 911 electric swap project. And uh, yeah, I haven't posted anything for a while. I've been busy, but we're back to it today. I did some CAD and designed a box and then um, got some metal in Denver and had it cut. And so um, I'll show you what we're working on today. Some of the metal. Here's Elijah. What up? Doing some welding here. This is the this is gonna be the top frame. So I'll show you the CAD. There's gonna be two frames, a top frame with 16 modules and a bottom frame with 32 modules. So alright, so here is the CAD model of the battery box. I was a little rusty with CAD, so I had to do some tutorials, but um, the frame consists of a bottom frame that's 46 inches long and the top frame is 24 inches long. You can see that the Nissan Leaf module is also modeled here. I was able to pull that from, um, and someone had already designed that in uh, another program and offered it. So there's some key aspects of the design that I wanted to incorporate and one of them was keeping the weight as low as possible. So that's why I have the 32 modules on the bottom and the 16 on top. The other thing is that the frame supports the weight of the battery pack. You can see that there's two bars that run along the bottom of the frame and those will, the, the battery modules will sit on top of those. The frame is made out of one inch square steel tubing with a wall thickness of 0.12, so almost an eighth inch wall thickness, which is pretty thick. Um, the other thing is you can see the four holes in the battery module and I'm thinking that I'll run all thread rod through those holes and connect into the frame for additional support. We're just doing tack welds today. Just, just to... Some quick tacks to hold it together, see if it fits the car and yeah. lock up and... Man, soon we'll be off to load it with batteries and ripping down the road. <laughs> yep. Here's one of the Nissan Leaf modules. Um, just to make sure that it fits. The top one's not hot, right? Uh, no. It's been like Something that. like that, yeah. We made a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we made a metal cage. I want to show a quick clip yeah. of Elijah's car here. See mine on the right is totally stock. Elijah's so good. is modified. It has coilover yeah, suspension and too. some wide yep. 18 inch they're wheels with trucks. I think they're nine inches wide. Welcome back to my friend's garage today. I am fitting the battery box frame, metal frame that I welded with my friend Elijah yesterday. And I've just kinda, this is the top part. And the bottom part is actually in the car. Um, and it looks it looks really nice. Um, so how this will work is, I'll go into the car so you can see it. You can see, you can see I have this lower cage on some blocks here. And um, you can see it goes across. It fits inside the rear tire there. Not sure I'm gonna run it like that, but it's the inner tire to inner tire is 47 millimeters, and um, this frame is 46 inches long, so it'd have a half inch clearance on each side, which is not a lot. But I like it being, you know, forward as as much as it can go. All right, so that bottom frame, which I just showed you, I'll show you it from the top here. nice and tucks up underneath and then you can see the clearance um, you know it's not the lowest thing probably an inch higher than the bottom of bottom of the car in terms of ground clearance so um, it's a good fit so this frame will hurt there's there's 48 total cells this frame is supposed to hold 32 um, 
32 modules if the cat I did was right. And then this one goes on top. I'll show you that. Let's see if I can do it. Probably have to put the camera down. So it's kind of resting on top there right now. And that'll hold the last 16 modules. So I want to keep as much of the weight in, you know, down low as I can. So that's why the, most of them will be in the bottom with the parts with the modules that won't fit up here. And you can see there's a good amount of space back here. You know, I did a, a put a lot of effort into I put a lot of effort into making sure that the the motor was mounted even you know far, further forward um, in front of all this stuff so that there would be plenty of room for batteries and this this part would be a little bit easier so it looks like there's plenty of room um, what would be cool is it looks like we could extend this frame even more you know I probably have another five or six inches on either side so that means I could add like another 12 um, I'm guessing like 10 modules, you know, 12, actually 12, 12 cells would be six kilowatt hours. So let's just say I add 12, that's yeah, another six, of, that'd bring it up to 30 kilowatt hour pack with more voltage. So that could be a really cool thing to try in the future um, since there's room for it. Hard thing is buying modules that are in similar condition to the ones I have. Yeah, we're making progress here slowly. You can see that the cage right now is just, it's just tacked. Um, it's just tack welds, holding everything together. You know, this is just a kind of like a test fit, but I'm pretty excited. This looks great. Next is is figuring out where I'm going to, um, how I'm gonna mount this in here. There's a, this is kind of like the rear engine cradle. And so, it hangs from the motor mount. We go through here. And so I should be able to bolt onto this lower plate here. And it's nice because it will be soft mounted since it's to the motor mount. And then I need to figure out where I want to tie it in in the front. And then because it is so wide, it'd be nice to, to have some lateral bracing as well. Yeah.